Get open it. Clean it out. Oh, hold it. Get him over to one side. Move it. Pop. Get him. Move it. Regular. Where's the boss? No, he had to go somewhere. Oh, I thought I saw him inside. No quick moves. Out. Now, in the office. Hey, what's going on? Just get in the office. So far, I didn't have to shoot no one today. Well, we need all the dough we can get. This guy looks like he's holding. Come on, come on, let's take him in the other room. Everybody, move it. One, two, three, four. Oh, listen, you guys, I made a hundred a few bucks, I admit, but you don't have to take it. I'll give it to don't you. Don't spoil my record. Now, put your hands up in the car, both of you. Come on, you know how it's done. That's it, that's it. That's right. Hey, a bullseye. It's nice and clean, too. How much? $22. And you said he looked like he was loaded. I got more on me than he's got. Hey, look. Detective. New York City. Badge 352. Look, you can take the money, but you don't... Are you a comedian? Of course we're going to take the money. Why put me on the spot, huh? Leave me my shield and my gun. Take all, all the bullets and you can leave it outside where I can get to. Hey, look, bud. We're bad guys. We got problems of our own. Uh, we need money. Anybody's. This gun could get me 50 bucks. Maybe more. And the shield? Hey, 352. That's a good number to play. With our luck, I don't even buy a lottery ticket anymore. Yeah, if our number comes out, we'll be on easy street. Look, I need my gun and my shield. Boy, this guy's a weeper. <laughs> Look, what do you got to cry about, huh? You got a steady job, a pension. Me, I got nothing. I got to pull a heist each time I need cash. Don't cry on my shoulder. What are you going to tell him your life story? Come on, let's get out of here. Okay, take off your pants, both of you. Come on, come on, come on. A hey, detective, go into your strip act, are you gonna get one of these? Well, you better start shooting, man. Please, officer, do what he says. Don't look at me like that. I got an ace in my hand. Without a gun, you're nothing. Nothing! Come on, let's get out of here! This guy bugs me. Come on, come on, let's get out of here. All right, come on, come, come on, inside. come on, let's go! Then he slapped me. He found my badge. He said, 352, that's a good number to play. Who? These bums we gotta get. We'll get them. Lieutenant, I'm supposed to be off this week. Thanks, John. I can use you. Me too, Lou. Now look, Richie, we got other cases here, you know. Since when I can't do what I want on my own time? Any distinguishing marks? Scars, you know. Shoot, I told him. Shoot. That's when he slapped me. Twice. Boy, oh boy, I wish I could lay my hands on those guys. How come you didn't find your cuffs and your ID card? Well, that's what I mean when I say they're kids. They didn't even take my watch. 
All they wanted was cash. And the gun and the shield. Yeah, that's what galls me, Lieutenant. I just want another crack at them. You know, there's a gang of so-called kids going out on all kinds of stick-ups. Bars, drug stores, pawn shops. They even held up an Army Navy store. Walked off with some surplus 30 caliber machine guns. Yeah, but the barrels were stopped up. And the firing pins were out, so... Well, there's no telling what a good zip gun mechanic could do with them. Now, we better be careful with these boys. They could be part of that gang. Well, the number that I'm in, well, there's a slight resemblance in this one, but the age is way off. The picture was taken six years ago, which means the guy's about 29 or 30. My guy, he'd be about 18, 20 at the most. Oh, well, don't worry, you'll get him. You know, some of the guys may get the idea that I was scared. Jeff, you did the right thing. I was scared, I admit it, but... Jeff, forget it. But when we finally corner them, I want to be the first one through the door. It would have been suicide for him to resist, Inspector. Well, he's an excellent man, and I'd like permission to take him off the charts so he can concentrate on the case. Lately, there have been a lot of holdups of this type, and, well, maybe we can get somewhere. Thanks. Thanks a lot, Inspector. Hey, Lou, another call. It's a reporter. Tell Jeff everything's okay. <laughs> Lieutenant Haynes, 27 Squad. Oh, look, do me a favor, will you? Listen, tell the fellows I know it's a good story, but if you print it, you may scare them off, and this is one we really want. Well, my men are working on their own voluntarily. Well, try to understand, will you? It's... Well, it's something personal, if you if you know what I mean. Thanks. If we get anything at all, give us a call. Anything. Gonna cost you. Benny, I want you to do me a favor. Mm -hmm. You got a lot of friends. Sure, and you're one of them, Lieutenant. Well, here's the problem. Say a fellow, well, say he bets a number. Well, isn't that against the law, Lieutenant? Betting on a number? All right, just for the sake of argument. Say he bets 50 or 100 dollars. That's a pretty big bet, isn't it? Uh, at 500 to one, that's a pretty nice bet. There aren't too many guys that make that kind of a bet. Enough. Not too many, but... There's, there's 352. Now, if anyone made a bet like that, would there be any way I could trace it? I think so. If uh, somebody was a good friend of some of the uh, numbers bankers. And you know something, Lieutenant? I uh, think I just might know somebody who would uh, know him. Let's hope so. For old time's sake. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> 352, huh? The Benny. I ought to change your ass. Honey, it's me. I won't be home for a while. Well, I got stuck on a case. A hold up. Two guys. Two punks. I'm the guy who has to go around asking questions. You know what they do to me if they found out I did the fingering? Stuck up. I'm all right. I'm fine. Fine. I'm just a little tired, that's all. Twenty-two dollars. That's all. That's all they got. Okay. It's $43. $43? You're sticking us up. <laughs> Without a gun. <laughs> oh, okay, here's your money. 
tit for tat. Now you give me your money. <laughs> Jeff, I'll call you if anything develops. Any luck, Richie? No. I just got a tip. Three punks just held up a clip joint. The description fits that gang that had the machine gun. It's the same guys that got Jeff. Why, then there were more than two. I feel sorry for you. Losing your shield. It's an automatic complaint. Automatic. Failure to safeguard city property. What were you supposed to do? Get yourself killed? Oh, you know, all the excuses in the world don't make any difference. The fact remains, I let a couple of punks take it away from me, and that's all people ever remember. Well, I'm glad you did what you did, and that you didn't get hurt. Did anybody say anything? No. They would have all done the same thing. You don't understand! Oh. He slapped me in the face. Lieutenant Haynes. Yeah, Benny. I'm listening. Benny, I love you. You son of a gun, I love you. <laughs> okay, I'll get on it right away. Johnny, come on, let's go. I may be under something. No, no, not now. Take them now, we scare the other punks away. Gotta figure out a way to get the whole group. I hope they put up a fight. You may be looking for revenge, I'm looking for convictions. Well, so am I. Not the way you're acting. This is no vigilante group. We gotta get evidence. Evidence will hold up in court. The lieutenant, I wanna do something. All right, then go home. Wait like court. Come on, Johnny, let's get out of here. That's it. You hustled me. You asked me to play. You hustled me. I ought to dump you in a sewer. Look, friend, you wanted to bet, not me. Shut up. I'll wrap this chew stick around your head. You swing that stick. You better keep swinging. Because when I get up off the floor, I'll be looking for a gun. And before tonight is over, I'll bury you. You look like law to you. You've been watching too much TV. You think with all the stealing going on in the city, they're gonna send some guy after us? Who's us? We're nobody. We're slobs that go to shies to borrow money against what we might get in the next sticker. We're nothing. Zeros. Who's gonna pay attention to us? You know, when I got my promotion, there were other guys in second grade longer than I was. I can't help but think they're gloating now. Well, why should they? Just a natural instinct to feel that way. They're your friends, Jeff. You said yourself they're working on their own time to help you. You know, when they take a cop's gun away, they take away his manhood. All a cop depended on was his gun. He wouldn't be much of a cop. I've heard you say that a hundred times. If it bothers you that much, why don't you ask for a transfer? Oh, you don't understand. These things follow you. There's just no place to hide.
given you a hard time before. He don't really mean nothing. If his brother was still around, he'd stand him up on top of his head. But he's working now. For the state. Seven and a half to fifteen. Armed robbery, huh? Hi. You don't look like a knock-around guy to me. Well, I got a very mean heart. If I want something, I take it. For my mother. Hey, Shane. I still do. <laughs> Maybe you could steer me right about something. I like to go hunting, you know what I mean? I'm kind of a nut about it. I don't know what you've got in your mind. We're working stiffs. I mean, I'm a house painter. When he works, he's a porter. Hey, $25 a room and I paint your house. $25 is what I'm willing to pay for a gun. You must be kidding. You must be out of your mind. He must be out of his mind. Fifty dollars at least. Thirty-five dollars, and in good condition. dollars okay you ain't been around here too long have you a few days where are you from out of town upstate thought you from the upper west side well i used to hang out there for a couple of months when i first came to town except a cop knocked on my door one day and i had to out the window gotta start fresh and hey, look bud forget about us forget about everything we're crazy but not that crazy we only talk to people we know. Did you hear Petey Four Cents? Joe T, Fat Sonny, and Sam Cigars? Well, I know them. You know Sam Cigars? I don't know you. I never saw you before in my life. I didn't say you knew me. I said I knew you. Why should I know you? I'm just a guy in a street corner. You, you got a big reputation. Everybody knows you. I don't like people to mention my name. Now get out of here. Wait outside. I'm sorry, Sam, but I had to check him out. Listen, you guys are cowboys. So he ain't gonna pay any attention anyway. But if I was you, I wouldn't trust that guy. I catch him. I kill him. Not in my neighborhood. We eat. You don't dump your garbage. What's the matter, babe? Nothing. Migraine? No. Just a little headache. No, it's not a migraine. It's just a headache. I'll make some dinner. No, no, no. I'm not hungry. What are you doing home? The lieutenant got tired of me hanging around. I guess I haven't been too much company for you either, huh? Don't be silly, Jim. This whole thing stinks. I don't mind it for myself, but when it affects you... I'm all right. I just have a headache. I'm going to take a walk, okay? Jeff? Just lie there. I'm just going to go to the corner and get a sandwich. See you later. Not bad, huh? Yeah, that's quite a collection. What'd you get in that submachine gun? Oh, that's a long story. I'll bet every one of those guns is a story of its own, and The gun I'm getting is a, uh, a police gun, huh? Yeah, yeah. We only got it a few days ago.
Lieutenant Haynes, please. Hey, come on, Hank. She'll keep you there all day. He's talking to my mother. You know, she wants him to keep an eye on me so I don't get in any trouble. Come on. How come you keep the guns at home? Oh, uh, she don't know. Thank God she don't. She drive me crazy. Yeah. No, thanks. Cops as I did a nine month bid on Rikers Island for stealing and wrecking a car. What are the busy days of Rikers Island? Monday, Thursday, or Sunday. Wrong! I'll kill him! Easy! Easy! Hold it! Hold it! Hold it! With nobody. Why bother us? Grab Sam's cigars. He's a Shylock. Grab some of them dope bushes. Who do we bother? Nobody! Who sent you? Who sent you? Look, whoever you are, we're not stick-up men. Honest to God, I'm a house painter. Tank supporter. Fred works in the supermarket. brought you to my house. If I knew your mother, I'd leave your body by her. I'm glad you're worried now. You could have got him killed coming in here where you could have been spotted. I don't know what would have happened if your wife hadn't called us. I'm sorry, Lieutenant. You got here first, Lieutenant. Saved my life. Where's my sheep? 350 clear. That number stinks. Probably couldn't even get in the subway with it. 